first video of my channel. I've been super inspired by a whole bunch of guys on YouTube doing tutorials or how to or DIY or just fixing stuff up. And I was like, man, I do that in my garage all the time. Maybe I should start a YouTube channel. So I'm going to start working on some bikes. And the first that I have up is a uh, CRF 50 that we're going to put an 88 kit on. And this is a X24 hour bike that uh, we've run for two years. Once it made it all the way through in stock form, the other time we put an 88 kit on it and we blew it up 12 hours in. So we're going to try again. Let's take a little listen to what the bike sounds like before we tear into it. It really doesn't sound too bad, but it doesn't want to idle. As we gaze at my stained workbench, put this here for a sec. So I kind of wanted to go over what happened to this bike the last time it was an 88. We were doing the 24 hour, the M1GP 24 hour at Willow Springs. And we were running this T-bolt kit, which is great. And we got the race head and everything on it. The only thing was this kit runs 13 to 1 and we were only allowed to run Pump gas. Focus. Focus. See all those tiny lumps in the piston? <laughs> guess we were suffering from detonation. Yeah, just, just a guess. I also cleaned off a ton of carbon off of this thing. So we were having an, an excessive amount of blow-by. Eventually this thing locked up and just kind of tore up the cylinder. So that was about 12 hours in. This year we're running... Uh, C12 from VP, which is like 100, 100, 110 octane. I gotta look it up. It should help with a lot of that detonation. And just to point it out. This is the uh, race head from T-Bolt that we were running. It looks to be in pretty decent condition. I don't see anything, no scarring or anything. 
A little bit of carbon buildup, but nothing crazy. Looks like we might have tapped a piston potentially right here, but it doesn't doesn't look indented at all, and it seats fairly well as I move it out of the camera. So I think we're going to run with this for now and uh, see how it does. Some new parts. We got a cylinder and piston kit from T-Bolt. I think it was relatively cheap. It was like 120 bucks. Not too bad since the head's still in good condition. The majority of the other kit's still completely salvageable. Nice new cylinder. Piston. One that uh, focus doesn't have uh, nice detonation pings all in it. Ring circlet, and they also provide a uh, gasket kit for all the head gaskets. I picked up as well some of these jets that they sell because the carburetor that comes with the kit, which is is a Sheng Wei, which does not fit normal jets. I looked everywhere for jets for this thing right before the race, couldn't find them, had to grind one down just to fit. So I got a jet kit for this. Oh yeah, and also going back on, is the magic little rev box which allows my friend to rev this thing to the moon and blow it up. I mean, allows it to rev freely and valve float. I mean, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm gonna put this back on. Put down some shop towels for the engine. So we don't mess up the table any more than we need to, even though we're going to get oil everywhere, because that's just how it is. But that should help. Let's get the engine on the workbench. Mm, nice and hefty. Ah, there we go. Gonna need like an 8 mil for the... Oops. Carb. Pull the carb off. decent amount of carbon build up in there. We're going to turn this thing around because I want to look in the case. Since the when I drained the oil, it was a little shiny. Had some death sparkles in it. Just want to make sure there's not a whole bunch of that circulating around. So there's a million of these little 8 mils. Take those off. And I gotta get the, uh, is this a 10? Mmm, nice and greasy. Hopefully I don't destroy this gasket too bad. I don't think I have another one. Ooh, these are nice and tight. Yeah, man. There we go. I'm pretty sure all of these are completely different lengths, too. So we'll leave them in their respective homes for now. You know what? I have a better tool for this. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. That is pretty black. You know, that would explain a lot of the uh, fouling kind of tendencies I was seeing at the track where the bike just, just wanted to quit. All right, let's see what kind of goodness we got in here. Oh, you know what? I don't know if this clears the uh, foot pegs. 
Meh. Oh, look at all that lovely oil. better. Oh, I guess it rests on the uh, shift lever. Nice. All right, let's take this off now. What just fell? Oh yeah, the shift. <laughs> I was like, oh, what is that? little shift arm so there is a lot of schmoo in there oh yeah look at all those metal flakes I don't know if you can see that on camera but there are there are a ton of metal flakes in there look at that I'm just gonna pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> I was being so careful and all the bolts just dropped out because it was like, oh yeah. Durr. All right. Okay, I give up. Oh. Anything else in there? <laughs> oh damn. All right. What I am worried about is the amount of metal in my case. Let's see if we can pull out that filter. It's probably caked in stuff. You know? There's not a ton on the filter. Which means they're all smaller than the filter. Yay! I'm expecting this to look really gnarly. Man, these are on there tight. I'm gonna get this side cover off. Wait, it's an eight. I think that's an eight. I got another 10, I believe. Get the cam chain cover off. What is all, oh geez. There's just metal everywhere. Where is all this metal coming from? <laughs> it's not looking good. Oof. Looks like clutch. Maybe, maybe clutch, I don't know. Yeah, it kind of looks like clutch material going through the oil pump, which that can't be great. So this is too. Oh yeah. Damn it. I'm a little worried with every little cover I take off. A lot of these gaskets actually look like they're in pretty decent shape though, which is nice. Uh, more of that same black material. Ooh, that was loose. 
Very loose. Let's get this cam chain off and we'll pull the head off and that will be pretty telling of what's going on with the piston. Oh yeah. Why don't we get this thing at top dead center, which is roughly this little circle with that notch and this notch with this notch up here. Right about there. Ish. That's pretty close. Oh, come on now. Oh, those are on tight. Okay. Huh. There seems to be a decent amount of wiggle in that, uh, and how this is attached to the cam. Let me slide this off. Kinda crusty. I should probably check the the valves and see what they're see what they're set to. But overall, not looking too bad here. The piston looks decent on top. Oh, these gaskets are, I love these gaskets. This looks like it was rubbing on something. This looks like it was rubbing on a bunch of stuff. It's like some deep grooves. And once again, it's covered in that nice black, what I'm guessing is clutch crap. All right, let's take the uh, let's take the cylinder off. Get this off to um, ten. There she is. This is just a cam guide, cam chain guide. A little wheel in there. Stop rolling back. Come here. I feel like everything is just covered in stuff. <laughs> Which is gonna make cleaning this engine a pain in the butt. All right, the moment of truth. Let's see how this cylinder looks. Come along, little doggy. Ooh, <laughs> that piston does not look happy. Yeah, so all those lovely little particles floating around the engine is the piston. This little snap ring out. Pull the other ring out as well. There we go. I don't know about this wrist pin. It does not seem to be super happy. That was a lot of pressure I had to put on that. Alrighty, let's check this out. Yeah, this piston is destroyed. This is just 
completely trashed, which really makes me worry about all the nice seals and bearings in here because the amount of metal flakes I'm finding are disturbing. Well, at least we got the engine apart. We got the old bits out. These are trash, so we can set these aside. Sacrifices to the gods of speed. Roll this back. Ooh, you know what? This feels a little gross. There's some resistance there. Might have fried the crank. Yeah, it's uh, usually this drops right down to the bottom, but it's wanting to stick. I don't know if we're gonna be putting an 88 in here. Oof. Or maybe we'll be splitting the cases and putting a new crank in. Not something I necessarily wanna do. But, um, yeah, it looks like this engine is going to be coming apart a little more than expected. So I wasn't quite able to get this slap together as fast as I wanted to, but I have a spare engine that has a crank in it, which I'm pretty sure is good. And I can swap that into these cases, or what I can do is I can pull the clutch, the heavy duty clutch and the oil pump off of this and slap it into the other engine and put that back together with the 88 kit on top of that. So hopefully I'll get around to that in the next episode. Thanks for joining and I'll see you next time.